The dual screen mode can be used when scanning the same organ from different angles or comparing ultrasound images with different parameters. This allows for clearer and more efficient scanning. When you obtain a good image, simply tap the dual screen button at the top right corner to enter dual screen mode. The captured image will be saved and displayed on the left screen. Once you've selected a suitable image, tap the freeze button, the image highlighted with a yellow frame can then be further modified. Such as performing measurements, adding body marks, or annotating. Tap the switch screen button at the top right corner to highlight the other screen with a yellow frame, indicating that it is now active and available for advanced editing. You can also adjust the timeline below to capture the desired image. Once saved, the image captured in dual screen mode will be stored in the review section. There is a line perpendicular appears on the ultrasonic image, tap or drag to move it. Tap gain on the left side to adjust the brightness of the bottom image. It shows how the structures intersected by that line position over time. You can also swipe left or right on the screen to adjust the gain level. Tap MPRF on the left side to adjust the frequency of the bottom image. Scan in CF mode to find a clear image. Then, tap mode button to switch to PW mode. Find the position and hold the probe steady. Tap functions button, then select gate angle and adjust LOI angle. Go back to the function menu and tap gate to adjust the gate range. Tap steering angle to adjust the steering angle once aligned, you're ready to enter PW mode and start a question. In PW mode, the screen splits into top and bottom. The lower graph shows velocity versus time. Tap baseline button to adjust the baseline of velocity. Tap PRF to adjust the pulse repetition frequency. Tap gain to adjust the brightness of the bottom image. Tap Auto Measure to turn on slash off the function of auto measurement. Once you turn it on, the values will appear on the right side. Tap Auto Envelope to turn on slash off the function of envelope. Once you turn it on, it will show two envelopes along the pulse. And it will mark the highest and lowest point of the pulse. Tap the four corners of ROI to resize it. Tap and drag the area inside of ROI to move it. Tap steering angle to adjust ROI angles. During scanning, adjusting the focus zone helps to ensure the clearest image in the targeted area. Tap and hold the target area with your finger for about 2 seconds, and the focus will change accordingly.
The orientation marker shows the direction of the probe relative to the patient. Tap Advanced button, then select LR to flip the image left to right. Tap UD to flip the image vertically, upside down. Tap Advanced button, select Freeze Timer, and sets how long the probe stays inactive before auto-freezing. This prevents unnecessary scanning, reduces wear, and avoids unwanted images. When the freeze timer is set to zero, automatic freezing is turned off.